Hello again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I will be looking at High Point's Rocket Raid 133 PCI controller. What is included in this package are two ATA 133 cables, you have software and drivers, a manual, and the controller. With this Rocket Raid 133, you can have up to a maximum of four ATA 133 hard drives. Now, RAID stands for Redundant Array of Independent Disks, and there are a number of different configurations. And these different RAID configurations or RAID levels are RAID 0, RAID 1, RAID 0 plus 1, and JBOD. I'll go through those now. RAID 0 is very common. It's basically used for the best performance without any kind of data protection. You need to have a minimum of two drives to get the RAID 0 to work and basically this is data stripping. Now RAID 1 is data mirroring and you need to use a minimum of two drives but RAID 1, how it differs from RAID 0 is that it's basically data protection through 100 percent data duplication so you will not get performance when you're using RAID 1. However, there's an option here of RAID 0 plus 1, which is basically data stripping and mirroring. You need, however, a minimum of four hard drives to do this, and this basically offers the best of both worlds, RAID 0 plus RAID 1, getting basically the highest performance with data protection. Now, lastly here, we're looking at JBOD. What does JBOD stand for? Well, it's just a bunch of drives. Yes, that's exactly what it stands for. Is JBOD stands for just a bunch of drives. And basically what this is is data spanning. And you need to have a minimum of two hard drives. Now this does not offer any data protection nor performance improvements but it does give you the full usage of the drive capacity which is good if you're looking into having a massive or massive hard drives on this controller and upon installing the controller into your computer system you will notice there now you have an option here to go into the controller and configure it to whatever configuration that you want by pressing control H on your keyboard once inside of the High Point BIOS setting utility, you have a main menu area where you can go in and create an array, delete an array, create slash delete a spare. This only applies the spare to a RAID 1 configuration. And lastly, you can of course select the boot disk in that particular array. Today I will be looking at how to create, delete, and select a boot disk in a RAID 0 configuration with two Maxter ATA 100 hard drives. Creating an array is extremely simple. Just go ahead here and click on Create Array. Once you're inside, you can go ahead and make a decision here what you want to do, what kind of RAID level you want, whether it be RAID 0, RAID 1, RAID 0 plus 1, or JBOD. I'll go ahead and select RAID 0. Now next you can go ahead here and assign a name to that array or you can just leave it as it is. If you want to change it just enter, go in and enter the RAID that you want to enter. I'll just go ahead here and enter 3GM. Now also here you can select the drives and once you do press that you'll see here at the bottom you can go ahead and select the primary master and second drive will be basically the same drive, a Maxter 20 gig, but it's a secondary and it's on the other controller. So there's two channels, one is on one channel as a master and the other one is on the other channel as a master and again two of these drives are Maxter 20 gig hard drives. Now once you have done that you'll need to set the block size. Now block size is dependent on the applications that you will be using for instance, if you're using day-to-day -day applications, a 32K is fine. If you're into video editing, then maybe a 64K configuration is best. You can go ahead here and just basically go ahead and start the creation process, and it will give you a warning that 
all data on the hard drives will be lost. You could go ahead and say yes, and that is it. Now, once you have created the array, you can go ahead and select the boot disk. So you can select which one of these you want it to boot from. And for instance, I'm going to go ahead here and select the first channel primary master as the initial boot drive. And upon selecting a boot disk, you will notice here on the right hand side that it will show the primary master, which is on channel 1, will be the boot drive. And the other one on the secondary channel as the secondary master will be configured as a hidden drive. Again, both of these drives in a RAID 0 configuration will total 40 gigabytes in size. Basically, both drives are 20 gigabytes, so 20 plus 20 is around 40 gigabytes. Deleting an array is very simple as well. Go ahead and select Delete Array. Once you have selected that, it will go down to the bottom, and you can select which drives down here that you want to remove from the array and of course you will get a warning here as well that all data on the array will be lost and whether you want to do this you can either press yes or no. I will be using SciSoft Sandra. This is the free downloadable demo version of their website. Getting a result here of 36477, which is a great result if you compare it to a single ATA100 hard drive at a result of 24000. So again, the result that I got was 36477, which is a great increase over a single drive, which is 24000. The system that I am using is a 1.6A at 2.4 gigahertz. I'm using 512 megabytes of DDR memory. Also, the hard drives that I am using are two Maxter 20 gig drives. Both of those drives are ATA 100 7200 RPM. Overall, this product has the three key components that we would like to see in almost any product. It has affordability, reliability, and performance. Whether it's RAID 0, RAID 1, RAID 0 plus 1, or even JBOD, this controller can do it. If you're wondering, well, maybe I should go SCSI instead of going this kind of setup. Well, one thing about SCSI is it's very, very fast, and it will be faster than this. However, SCSI is extremely expensive in comparison to this. So this product definitely falls into the category of kick-ass. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds, and this has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also, check out my website at www.3dgameman.com. And while you're there, check out the forums. Registration in the forums is free. Of course, you can find out more information about this product and about all the products which I video review. Until the next time, take care.